Hello everyone, welcome to Phasmophobia. Today, we're heading into Bleasdale on Nightmare. So from last time, I want to talk about some of these hiding spots, because on the history of this channel, I've had a hard time with these hiding spots. So I mentioned before when we were on high school that they added hiding behind furniture. And like, this is technically a hiding spot, but I think I've been looking at it like these hiding spots are technically like set in hiding spots, but I think really the way it works is any time you're hiding behind furniture like this, you're hiding behind furniture. And it really just comes down to if the ghost roams to you and actually just sees you in the spot or not. So I've been thinking like the ghost will actually check the spot or not. It really just determines if the ghost roams to you or not and actually ends up checking that spot by just kind of going into it on its own. Like when I died on uh, Sunny Meadows there, the ghost was in the room for a while before it actually came over and, and killed me. I thought it may have missed me there for a second. But yeah, I think I'm just still getting used to this. Like, this is a hiding spot. I, well, I no, wait, maybe it is. Can you get over here? I think this is technically a hiding spot because look, you can't go to it from the other side and it's set up like this. But I kind of remember there being something like this. So even though I'm like behind furniture and my head's kind of peeking out, I think this is a hiding spot. I don't know though, I wouldn't really trust it. Is there anyone here? I haven't heard any kind of ghost noise. Now we're on Nightmare. I gotta remember. <laughs> my sanity's draining. Do we have the Ouija board? No, but here's the breaker at least. Now this hiding spot would be great. I think you could technically run back here and hide, but yeah, if the ghost sees you. Because that's another thing, like you're just kind of hiding away from the ghost. So the only other hiding spots are like ones where you can get in and close the door, so. But I like not knowing everything. Because the less you know about the game, the more scary it is, so I really like not knowing exactly how the ghost works here and how it roams and might check a hiding spot. Now there's been nothing through here, so I'm going to go ahead uh, upstairs. Oh my god, okay. I didn't hear anything coming up here, but I open the door and I get met with the cold breath and EMF. Okay, see the EMF just went away, so I did kind of miss it. But look at that, we have maybe the ghost room. Now, we could always loot. See, that hiding spot's gone. I don't really know what hiding spot's gonna be open here on Nightmare, because pretty much all of them are gonna be closed. Now this one, actually, I mean, this is open, so if I need to, I can come here. Oh, and look, it's the monkey paw again. So on Nightmare, I'm probably not gonna bother with that. So we have the bone. I don't think I really need to look around here. I have a hiding spot if I can smudge the ghost and get away. And I can always loop the ghost up here and then come back down, so it's not a fast ghost. I have a path here. Let's see if we can interact. Who is this ghost? Kyle Alexander, give us a sign. Alexander, are you here? Oh my god! I say you are. Now, what just happened? Was that the phantom? I think that was a phantom. Okay, well, see, this... I just heard that, too. Was that a window bang? No? What was that? Okay, so what just happened there was the phantom ability. Because, look, we got a three-star ghost photo, and there's no static or ghost in there. So what does that mean? We immediately know it's a phantom. Okay, well, see, in my experience, Nightmare has always been hard. And, like, I had so many games where I couldn't get the ghost right. And now this stuff happens where immediately I get a fa phantom event. Okay, well, guess what? I don't need to worry about anything. I'm actually going to not do this. You just stay over there in the bathtub. I don't want to drain my sanity. Let me just run away from this guy. Oh my god, though. Yeah, I never really turned on any lights. <laughs> there. I'm, I guess I'm used to the light switch being on this side still. Long time ago, the light switch was over there. And there's no voodoo doll in there either. Okay, so... Here we go again with Nightmare being kind of easy. I do have to prevent a hunt and then get a paranormal sound, so I'll go for that. Also, I'll go for photos. So I guess I'm gonna need a lot of salt in there. I guess that just really goes to show though that sometimes Nightmare can just end up being the easiest thing ever. Now, can a phantom have UV? Yeah, so maybe I could try and get mm, footstep photos. So I'll go in with this. Uh, I actually maybe should have drained my sanity since I need to get hunted. I don't really want to mess around with the monkey paw and nightmare. I know I've been kind of avoiding it, but we were on Sunny Meadows last time, which was a bigger map. So next time 
I don't know, we're on a small map and we get the monkey paw on professional. I'll use it. Let me oh my god, that was the window for sure. Okay, let me maybe put that there. And then I'll just put this in the center. No. Let me just make sure. You okay, maybe it wasn't oh, it was this window. Holy crap, you just banged on this window like three times, didn't you? Alright, this won't cover the back corner of the room, which really sucks, but here. There. Uh, where's my camera, though? So maybe we will get footstep photos. No. Alright, that was the fingerprint. So we got some photos here. I'm gonna leave it on this page. So guess what? The ghost didn't go back in here, so maybe this is the ghost's room. I don't know if the ghost can still be a hallway ghost. I don't... For the most part, I think they've gotten rid of, like, hallway ghosts, but I don't know if this could still be the ghost room or not. I mean, it was doing a bunch of stuff in here, so... And it was cold, but I'm not seeing the breath anymore. I wasn't seeing it out there, though. Okay, well, I guess the ghost really didn't come back in here. The only other thing I can do is go get the pair of mic. Actually, hey, I didn't know if there might be other photo or fingerprints to take photos of. See, I keep thinking you bang on this window, but yet there's no evidence you've been over here. Now that one, that's the same one as before. Maybe you really do just like this room. Have you touched this bear? No. Did you touch this window? I remember on Grafton, there's like a window that's way up over there and the ghost can't touch it somehow. I thought that, oh, that's just a glare. Anything out there? Slender man in the woods? All right, ghost, come on. I'm going to leave this down. I try to sometimes, oh my God, you're still over here. What the hell? See, that sounded like this one now. Could it bang on this? Is it banging on this as a window? Where's my EMF? I guess it's just banging on this entirely, but it's not changing the fingerprint. All right, I'll take another one. See, it is cold in here, so I'm starting to think this is actually the room now. Well, at least we already know the ghost. So, I mean, that's a lot of challenge gone. What am I actually going to do then? Cover this. So maybe it'll cover part of the hallway. Then I'll get the other crucifix and put it down there. I'm going to get the other salt, put it in here for more photos. Oh. Okay. I do need the sanity drain. If that's an event, which I guess it's not. Okay, I'll just take the photos then. Now, oh, oh god, what was that going to be? Uh, I missed it. Interaction. Yeah. Now let me actually let that charge. And then I'll take, oops. And I'll take a fingerprint photo. Okay, so just one more. I am still need to drain sanity. So, okay. <laughs> it's like he heard me or something. Well, you're in range of the crucifix. Alright. Oh. Mm. I'm, I'm not worried about photos now. That's why I really just had the salt in here. So maybe I'll... Like... Oh my god. Well, at least you broke out the light in this room. Okay. Right. right. I forgot. Have I even taken a photo of this? I forget that I can take the photos of the disturbed salt. I was going for the actual footprint photos. Okay. Look at how much this actually does kind of... Oh, well, that was the combination. That's weird. This is the combination of the UV and the headlight. That's a unique way of looking at things. Okay, I'm actually just going to run out the door. See if it'll let me. Okay, I guess I can. I don't know what my sanity is going to be at. So I got to sit in there with the paramike and then still prevent this hunt. So I'm going to get that paramike, get a cruci- or, uh, yeah, the other crucifix and then the smudge and a lighter. Okay, so this is a phantom, so it's not going to be hard to loot. So that's another thing I need to learn about these ghosts, and I've mentioned this before, is that certain ghosts, most ghosts, after they see you, they will speed up. Now, some ghosts don't do this, but that's something I really have a hard time noticing. How? How on earth? I'm going to... I should have closed that door. Might as well try it. If he comes over here, I'm going to smudge and then run back upstairs. I didn't think I'd actually be trying this hiding spot, but how did it hunt right next to me? I, I guess it must have been right on the other side of that crucifix. Maybe it is in that room because it didn't break the light in there. Maybe it was just out of the room long enough to make the 
hallway cold. Is it over? Maybe I'll go out the back door, actually. Well, okay, yeah, I'm gonna loop back around. Drop off of this. So, oh my god. The bear mic sound's gonna be what's hard here. But maybe that hunt definitely started in that bathroom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm glad I, glad I didn't waste my smudge. You did come down here. I gotta remember that is a hiding spot, I think. It looks like it's there, or available. I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I guess, dead center as I can. I think some of the corners are missing. I mean, I don't want the ghost to start hunting from down there. Stupid Romy ghost. All right, I guess I'm going to the attic this time. Oh, I gotta turn off my stupid headlight. Now, I think once again, I can break line of sight. I don't think it sees me. We're gonna try and see it. Oh my god. He looked like he kind of slowed down. Jesus Christ. You think he sees me? Do you think he sees me? Oh, and it ended right in time. I'm really pushing my luck here. Look at that can rolling. That's for the attic. I might as well leave that on. Okay, see, so how am I supposed to do anything here? I don't know if moving... Okay, see, maybe you are near here. <laughs> Is that crucifix not covering this area? It's, it's right here. Let me turn this back on. Okay, so I got my smudge. You asshole. Okay, not an event. Is it cold in here? If it's not cold in here, I gotta move the crucifix out of here. And it, it really doesn't seem like it's cold in here. Alright, what I'm gonna do... Try and put this crucifix all the way back here. Now, it was right kind of in line here. I don't know how far this other one's gonna go. I'm gonna stop running as well. God, if, if the ghost really is in this room... That, uh, that hasn't happened in a while. <laughs> okay, good. See, sometimes you can just walk around with that thing in your hand. Even though we had this ghost figured out immediately, it's still been terrifying. The only other thing I can do now is try and get this sound. Now, I might get hunted here, but I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Oh, we have the other crucifix over here, and that one is still there. It's, look at my breath, it's cold all the way over here. The ghost hasn't hunted from over here, though. Did you turn that off somehow? Okay, we got it. We got everything. So if I can walk on by, I'll get out of here. See, I wanted you to play with that basketball or something. I'm gonna turn off my headlight. Oh God. Oh my God, how did we get out of there? So full thing of photos, actually a really good game somehow. And I, I keep having ghosts that do stuff that remind me of how scary this game can be because I forgot you can even like have the crucifix burn up in your hand. Well, all right, I guess technically I could leave, but maybe we can try and play around with the ghost a little more. Let me take a couple things of sanity and then I'm going to grab, I have one smudge on me still. So what can I go back with? Okay, I'm going, I did take the sanity, so I'm going to go over to that monkey paw. I'm going to ask it something. Now, you are still interacting with things. It really likes this intersection here. I really don't know what to ask for, so I don't know. What would be good? I wish for interaction. I wish for activity. Oh, that breaks the breaker. Okay, so now... The ghost should be active. Oh, oh, there it goes with that ball. Okay, since you're gonna be active, I should have my actual main light here. Actually, just do both, it kinda helps. All right, got smudged, uh, Yeah, okay, ooh, I gotta keep track of my inventory. Okay, I'm gonna throw down the bear. You skyrocketed that ball. Where did it go? I bet it went into like one of the rooms. This is, I, I want to like have fun with the ghost sometimes and get interactions. Here's another ball. Here, I'm going to throw this ball down here. I'm going to grab this bunny. 
I'm going to see if... Oh, well, actually, I should grab the bear, because he can turn the head on the bear, so I'm going to grab that. I want to see if we can get some interactions. I also like playing with this ghost. Here, let's line these up against the wall. Oops. No, you got to sit up right. See, this would be nice if you could place everything kind of like how you place the book, because it would be really cool to do stuff like this, and... I'm kind of, I mean, I'm doing it now, but if you could place each individual item and then be like, Hey, ghost, come on, do you want to play with this? Do you want to play with these balls? I think you were an old man. I don't think you really care about kids' toys. Maybe you really are in this room somehow. Well, does, is something supposed to happen at the end of the activity? I'm really glad I tested out the monkey paw, actually. <laughs> Give us a sign. I already forgot your name, Kyle Alexander. Give us a sign. I love it when the ghost throws stuff, and that ball, it got thrown. Maybe it got thrown into here. It did. It also kind of messed with some stuff in here. Come on, throw something. Play with this ball. Turn the head on that bear. I'm going to try and set this up. <laughs> okay, there we go. See, there's a little interaction. <gasps> That's the kind of shit I'm looking for here. See, man, I'm just trying to show how much this game can be cool. I just want so much more out of this game, and I just, I'm just hungry for more scares. There's so much potential for this game. That was a can. I'm glad you haven't hunted. I really don't know what these... I mean, I, I've been in the dark this whole time, and I used the monkey paw, so... I only took two of the sanity. Maybe it's more than I thought it was. I'm glad I stuck behind, though. This is way more fun to... Even though we're on Nightmare, it doesn't really matter if I know the ghost and the challenge is kind of over. We're still just having fun. The only thing that could happen is if the ghost hunts and then I get nuked by the two second grace period. <laughs> oh, that was a beer can. See, that's another thing. Like, these beer cans should be able, be able to break and stuff. And I know they said, like, on the Trello board a long time ago, like, breaking plates, but that's, like, <laughs> that's the kind of thing we need. There's more interactions, like if this pot could get knocked off the table, or if this axe could come off the wall, or anything. I mean, I think all this stuff is throwable. But I mean, that's what kind of like the point of Point Hope, no pun intended, is, you know, it really showed off all the new stuff that the ghost could interact with, and I just, you know, I mean, this map here is going to get reworked soon, so. Alright, ghost. <gasps> See, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Alright, thank you for being cool. As soon as I was going to say I'm leaving... I don't know how you haven't hunted again. Oh my god, whoa. That was... I recognize that noise. Well, what was that? It sounded like the hacky sack. Are you throwing stuff down here? Please tell me you're not actually down here. Like, here's the meat cleaver, oh my god. I remember when you could take a photo of that. Alright, ghost. Huh, I just had a lot of fun here. That door's closed. See, I don't even remember the last time I was out of here. Alright, ghost. I'm gonna see one last time. <gasps> that was weird. You can't really tell that on another floor. Alright, ghost. Thank you for being cool. You didn't turn the head on the bear, but you did giggle, which I love the giggle. That was one of the first things that ever happened in this game that truly scared the hell out of me, and I didn't know why it happened. Alright, though, ghost. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here if you're gonna let me. And that was a fun game. We immediately found out it was a phantom, so that's why I stuck behind. And also, I kind of forget about the other questions, like the activity question on the monkey paw, so I'm glad to experience that at least. Alright, so even though we messed around at the end, how much money did we make there? 1600 That's pretty nice. I didn't get a level. I don't really- I haven't been looking at, like, the next time I unlock something. I'm just kind of hoping every game I get a level or so. But it's like every game or two I do get a level, so... Hopefully we're going to unlock the rest of that tier 3 equipment as we get into October here. So if you're still here, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.